W.H. Allen, a major international diesel manufacturer, is located at Bedford, some 50 miles north of London. Part of the NEIAPE group, W.H. Allen employs about 1,400 people at its Bedford works, a manufacturing facility covering 17 acres and producing single-stage and multi-stage steam turbines, centrifugal pumps, and a wide range of medium-speed diesel, dual-fuel and heavy-fuel engines up to 5 megawatts. Allen engines are the product of more than a century of engineering history. 1880 saw the beginnings in London, where William Henry Allen first manufactured small pumps and steam engines. 1894 brought the move to Bedford, and in 1906, with the addition of paraffin engines to the company's product range, W.H. Allen began to manufacture internal combustion engines. Six years later came the first Fulagar engine driving a 335 kilowatt dynamo. The First World War saw the company producing large numbers of 800 horsepower, 380 revolutions per minute submarine propulsion engines and rotary aircraft engines. The 1920s brought the manufacture of engines operating on the diesel cycle and the important and innovative development of engines specifically designed to operate on heavy fuels, whether residual, crude or shale derived. This old type, S30, in use at a flour mill near Bedford, is one of many of the generations still active today. By 1938, W.H. Allen had begun to manufacture the T47 type two-stroke engine, which was a great success in the marine auxiliary field, and many are still in service. The late 1930s also brought the forerunner of the current Allen Type S37 engine with its bore of 325 millimeters and stroke of 370 millimeters. Despite many changes in diesel engine technology, it remains competitive to this day. The smaller Type S12 with its 241 millimeter bore and 305 millimeter stroke was first introduced in the 1950s. Designed originally for the marine auxiliary market, the S12 is renowned for its reliability, operational economy and fuel efficiency. The current S12 engine is available with three, four, six, eight or nine cylinders in its inline form and 12 or 16 cylinders in V4. It runs at speeds between 720 and 1000 revolutions per minute and has a maximum output of 2 megawatts. The S37 range of engines has 6, 8 or 9 cylinders in its inline form and 12 or 16 in its V form. It runs at speeds between 600 and 750 revolutions per minute and has a maximum output of 5 megawatts. Both S12 and S37 type engines are available for dual fuel operation. In this mode, diesel fuel is used for ignition purposes only, the main fuel input being either natural gas or sewage gas. Engines can be offered for outputs of up to 2.5 megawatts and the engines have the ability to revert automatically to diesel operation in the event of gas supply failure. This completes the Allen engine range for powers up to 5 megawatts. The entire range of Allen engines is the result of some specific and traditional design criteria. Each model must give long, reliable base load service with long intervals between servicing and require the minimum downtime for maintenance. Consumption of fuel and lubricating oil and the need for spare parts must be low. It must also be able to operate on the lowest grades of fuel. But design must be matched by production if the range is to keep its keen competitive edge. For WH Allen, this has meant installing a flexible manufacturing system incorporating computer-aided design, 
computer-aided manufacturing and computer-aided production management facilities, which ensure a high standard of accuracy, consistent quality and a high level of productivity. The stringent quality assurance procedures built into all W.H. Allen contracts ensure that both national and international specifications are met and that every form of plant and equipment fits the application and the customer's needs. The test bay is equipped for full electrical load tests, if necessary with machines operating in parallel and to demonstrate the use of automatic starting and stopping of equipment in addition to testing on residual fuel. Naturally, the company operates a continuous research and development program. The test beds are in constant use, evaluating and investigating new methods of improving engine design and performance, concentrating particularly on heavy fuel burning, an area which has rapidly assumed tremendous importance with the deteriorating quality of fuels. When required, design features such as intensively cooled valve seats, valves and pistons of the latest materials and cooled injectors are incorporated into Allen engines. These maintain optimum service intervals and component life on such fuels and avoid operational problems such as valve burning and fouling of components. To ensure optimum combustion at light load and prevent cold corrosion, W.H. Allen offers engine cooling systems incorporating charge air temperature control. The design retains optimum control of the jacket water and lubricating oil system temperatures. This ensures that the charge air temperature as a function of load follows a predetermined line, dictated by a simple electronic unit which monitors engine load and charge air temperature. Other developments include the introduction of glass-reinforced plastic side doors for ease of maintenance, with fewer fixings and an O-ring oil seal to minimize leakage, and also the production of specialist relays known as Reed and Rockoff to facilitate operation of diesel generating sets in parallel with local grid networks. A patent covering these has been applied for. It is also, of course, important to obtain the maximum benefit from costly fuel oils. W.H. Allen has considerable in-house experience of total energy schemes and installed a development exhaust gas boost firing system at its Bedford Works in 1982 in cooperation with N.E.I. Cochrane. The oxygen present in the engine exhaust gases is used to burn additional fuel at extremely high efficiency and the package of diesel generator and boiler is an effective and versatile producer of both heat and electricity over a wide load range, as well as having a low initial capital cost. Design, production, quality assurance, testing, research and development, all of them essential stages, but at the end of the day, the proof of a product lies in its successful application. So let's look at a few examples of the way Allen engines are put to work. The BBC Ascension Island power station is a recent example of an installation engineered by W.H. Allen at Bedford. The 12-cylinder VS-12 engines produce power for the BBC World Service transmissions and the exhaust system is equipped with waste heat boilers to operate a desalination plant providing essential water supplies. A major source of activity for W.H. Allen has been the building of well over 150 engines to operate on crude oil for pipeline applications in India, Nigeria and Colombia, a number believed to be unmatched. The 700-mile Oil India pipeline from the Nahakatiya field to Baruni is one of the most technologically advanced systems of its type in the world, and many engines have now exceeded 100,000 hours of operation. The Indian Oil Corporation's Salaya to Matura pipeline is also operated by S-37 type engines and can handle imported crude oil from the Middle East and from the new oil fields in the Bombay High offshore field. Service and support for these engines is provided by W.H. Allen's associate company, APE India. 
Another pipeline with which W.H. Allen has been involved is operated by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, which runs from Wari on the south coast of Nigeria to Kaduna. More recently, W.H. Allen has supplied both crude oil pumping engines and generating sets for the Occidental Oil Pipeline between Cano Limon and Rio Zulia in Colombia. The installation of six Allen VS-37 dual-fuel engines at the National Westminster Bank's computer centre in London ensures continuity of supply and is part of a total energy system offering a high overall efficiency. Each set produces 2.2 megawatts. Electronic governors maintain engine speed so that the frequency of the electrical supply is very closely controlled, even during the changeover of fuel. Both low and high grade waste heat is recovered and used for heating and air conditioning. In addition to providing engines for baseload applications, WH Allen supplies many units for critical standby power. Typical of these generating sets are engines for the nuclear power industry, British Telecom and the Department of the Environment. It was in the 1930s that W.H. Allen became firmly established as suppliers of reliable marine auxiliary engines. And this role was further reinforced in the 1950s with the introduction of the S-12 range. Many sets have been installed or converted to operate on lower cost residual fuels, such as the six cylinder engines installed in the bank line vessels. Similar S12 auxiliary engines have also been supplied for the successful SD14 range of standard vessels built by British shipbuilders and also for vessels such as the latest cable and wireless Pacific Guardian and the CGB coal carriers. Nine S12 engines were supplied to Canada steamship lines incorporating charge air temperature control systems which are capable of running on residual fuel for long periods at light load. Allen engines are also of course used as a means of propulsion for a wide range of vessels including tugs such as the fourth port's Beamer built by McTay Marine and incorporating eight cylinder S12 engines. Tankers such as the SO Plymouth built by Cochrane Shipbuilders incorporating a six-cylinder S-37 engine. Offshore supply vessels such as the Star Altair, built for Star Offshore services by Cochrane's with two six-cylinder S-37 engines. And dredgers such as the re-engined Abbots Grange, operated by the Fourth Ports Authority with two six-cylinder S-37 engines. These then are some of the most recent examples of Allen applications either as engines for base load and standby power for industrial use or as a source of marine auxiliary power or as a means of ship propulsion for diesel, dual fuel, heavy fuel and crude oil operation. Whatever the application, W.H. Allen is ready to provide a service from the design stage onwards that includes not just the installation, commissioning, site performance, testing and handing over of the fully operational plant, but also the provision of an appropriate financial package, including long-term credit facilities. The company is well aware of the importance of first-class instruction for their customers' own staff. Training in the operation and maintenance of the machinery is offered both at the Bedford Works and on site for as long after commissioning as is necessary. Not that the service stops even then. A comprehensive after sales and spare service is provided both through any IAPE companies and through selected diesel agents throughout the world. A wide choice of diesel engines from a product range that has long since proven its reliability and operational efficiency. An important name in the diesel engine market. W.H. Allen, a Northern Engineering Industries company.